Hello out there wherever you are. As for me, I am in a state that I have never been in before in my entire life. I am in Michigan. And I'm in Dearborn, Michigan. And we are here to check out the Henry Ford Museum of American Innovation. Um, I've been looking at this museum for a while. There's a lot of interesting exhibits and things here. Things that have shaped history, important seats, and various other things. So we're going to check out what this museum has to offer. Let's go. Well, we picked a busy enough day for this, but the museum so far is very nice. We haven't got in yet, though. That's cool. Yeah. Technology. Yep. Well, we are officially here. Oh, 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 oh. Henry Ford. Oh, oh. Oh, And it is a busy day at the Henry Ford, but there's a lot of places to go, including the presidential cars. So we'll head there. There are various presidential limousines here over the years. Ronald Reagan's. Ronald Reagan's. This is the one they shoved him in, uh, the yeah. Hinkley attempt. Yeah, yeah. This, this is all dented up and stuff. Oh, there, kind of yeah. Oh, hey, look. Yeah, More important for you, yeah, child. Reagan. Do not touch. Do not touch. Ah. Do not touch. Here's Kennedy's here. Yeah. Yeah. And that seat right there. This is the Kennedy car. And 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 the Kennedy car. Like the important one. <laughs> the real one. Yeah. And behind there. That hairpiece. This car was part of that Mandela effect thing where nobody could remember that there was a middle seat. Like there's the driver's seat and then the governor of Texas and his wife and then Kennedy and Jackie were in the back seat. But people remember it without that middle seat there. Also, look... It's interesting, kind of, I don't know if you can see in the reflection, but how low those seats are, which would explain Kennedy sitting higher and the governor of Texas sitting lower. I don't know if those seats were changed, but that's interesting. Look how low the seats are. Yeah, that's Governor Carly, right? No, what I'm saying is that explains the yeah, yeah, yeah. downward oh, hitting him because seat, yeah. he's sitting much lower. Yeah. The seat is much lower, significantly yeah. lower. A little too late for the roof, I guess, yeah. but... Um, but yeah, they added a permanent roof after the fact, obviously, um, but significantly Nixon. after. Yeah, I guess Nixon did that after. It's crazy. Oh, story. Yeah, this is the where that scene of Jackie jumping out onto that trunk right there just to pick up like a piece of his head. That's ooh. wow. That's crazy. So there's Bonnie right there. Right. He got shot. Look at the scene circle. Wow. Oh, here's his head. The whole 64 rebuild. Yeah, so they completely rebuilt it. This is administration modification. Special trap floor cut in the roof. So it's starting to improve. So. So what fascinates me is that they reuse this car. <laughs> like later modification during like so they had to fly the car to Dallas for him to use specifically oh, for they that did thing. They still do. Yeah, so like the car has to be flown separately and then they used it after the fact. That's wild. Wow. And that's it. 
that is crazy. I mean, it looks like it's a stripped down version of it, but it's still the car that he was assassinated in. And that's just, that's wild. Just from all sides and all angles. There's the Secret Service footsteps on the side so they can hang on. That's wild. That's incredible. Cash dollars. Gonna make a Kennedy mold here. It's gonna be hot when it comes out, just so as you know. How do how do I hold it then? Well, you hold it upside down, like it says in read instructions. You know how that works. I'm just molding it right now, a custom mold. Yeah, that's what it'll look like at the end. Pull it out. Yeah, pull it out. Open the, let's do the handle. It's in there. It's in there. Dig in there. Pull it upside down. Hot? Hot, really? Pull it upside down. Let me see what it looks like. Oh, that's hot. Okay. That's hot. That's hot. Yeah, that's hot. Keep it upside down. That's hot. That's hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's That's really cool. It's a Rolex. But, yep. In here. Eisen Eisenhower. 1950. Bubble top. That's a bubble top. No, they used it from 50 to 67. Oh. Like meaning, uh, meaning other presidents used it. Look. Look, they have a thing. Okay, look. Used by Truman, Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy, Lyndon Johnson as a spare. Kennedy until the 61 delivered, which is over there. Look. Folding bug shield. Who put on the bubble top? That's nice. Wait, who put on the bubble top? That was a special feature, special add on. You see the leather's getting a little wrecked. Yep. Limousine. There's Eisenhower tooling around in that car. Ooh, the Sunshine Special. What a name. It's a nice car. Yep. 39 Lincoln. Just the look at the windows are like really high up on there. Like the seats are like lower, like in there. Because they want him almost to you can like barely see out. Yeah, probably because they didn't want to get shot. That's right. Sure, he is in that car. Mm. Hey. Oh, I the FDR in the whip. I can best, I can best guess that mm -hmm. carriage. That's Lincoln's. Look at that. Teddy Roosevelt. And a Brom. A Broham. Horse drawn. Not that far removed from the rest. Only by about 30 to 40 years. The time. Because that's 1901. And that's 1939. No, not a giant amount of time, but a significant amount in uh, advancement. Let's put it that way. 
Large glass up front with passengers to see out so they could see him and he could see them. That is wild. Driver sat up here, president sat in the back. Wow. Do not climb, you've been warned. What? Because there's like trucks over there. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at it. 603 tons. Jesus. It's big. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. China bigger than this. I mean, it goes on for days. How did they get this in here? <laughs> that in itself is a mystery, I'd say. All aboard. You know, a lot of horse-drawn or rail cars. They're not even carriage cars. They were, they were rail cars. Me hey, sitting there. Oh, I wish you can open that and just go in. Look, it's a whole train is in here. Climb aboard. Oh. Oh, you want to go in that train? Sure. Chesapeake in Ohio. I don't know how well this is coming out. It's all dimly lit in here, but that's the coal engine and a significant size to put a ton of coal in there to run this. Hey, Mr. Conductor, here's... Mm. You can just peek. Well, it's probably from the 1800s, so... There's a reason why they don't want you in there. You bet. You're sitting. You bet. 1931 Bugatti Type 41 Royale with cheese. Ooh. Look at that horn. That's incredible. Look at that car. <laughs> That's awesome. I bet you, I don't know to be honest, but I bet you that car, it was, wait, it was $43,000 then in 31? Oh, jeez. Oh, that car is probably, that's got to be multi-million dollar car right there wow it was 43 then here's what people made back then one thousand three hundred eighty. Forty-three 43 grand in 31 wow how can somebody buy it you have to work 31 that is incredible one of these things is not like the other Someone just parked their car here? What what happened? What's going on? Buses until right. This could be America's oldest surviving school bus. Can you imagine 50,000 people? Uber number one, 27. Only get in in the back. There ain't much to it. 58 Epsil Citation Hardtop. Yeah, it's a nice car. Yeah. Same as now. Ford makes one of the best looking cars. Mm -hmm. Right. Hmm. But the, the front was all pink. Hmm. Tiger 48. 2,480 bucks. 2,400 bucks? Now you didn't take your whole year's paycheck, though. Well, that'll do it. Part one of the Henry Ford Museum. Uh, inter very interesting to see all the presidential limousines and uh, the older cars that they have there. But there's much more to see at the Henry Ford. Uh, so we are going to do a little part two session right here. Click on this right here, part two.
Got some very interesting historical things in this part too. Check it out.